Hey everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal, and I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm a little bit earlier than usual today. Oh, that's so cute. There's a guy there riding his bicycle. He doesn't look like he often rides a bicycle. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to work a little earlier today because I have to go to the doctor this afternoon because my doctor is going away for two weeks and I need medications. Just by chance I happened to phone. Ah, they didn't fix my um, traffic light yesterday. It's very unfortunate. Um, anyway, so I've got to go and uh, get my medicines topped up and also find out what the result was of the uh, chest x-ray, which I'm presuming was okay because I'm pretty sure they would have called me if there was anything bad on there. And that's, that's my thinking anyway. And I guess today I'll know for sure, right? So definitely a tad cooler today. Only 59 American and 15 Canadian. Um, just, you can just feel it. They say rain's coming. We haven't had rain for a long time. So, my garden's gonna like that. Gonna like it big time. Well, I had a really nice surprise yesterday. Benji, Judy and Juliana phoned me on Skype. It was so cute. <laughs> and it, the funny thing was that I was in the position that I used to um, do the broadcast from, which is sitting on my bed and you know, as opposed to sitting on the chair. And it was so funny because you know how jealous Bean Bean gets of my talking to anybody in that box of mine that's called a computer. Um, well, he knew this was special. And he could hear Benji. And he knows Benji because Benji used to take him to play. And he could hear Juliana. <laughs> you know, he jumped on the bed. Yep. And he hasn't done that for quite a while, as you know. But he <laughs> jumped on the bed so he could talk to them and lick me to death, as you know he does when he gets that point where he wants the attention. <laughs> it's really quite funny. Um, so I got slobbered all over this side of my face. Um, and it was really interesting because for the first little while Juliana was fascinated. We're not sure if she recognized Bean or not. But it was really cute. She really is looking wonderful, isn't she? So big and strong and full of intelligence. That's my sense of her. I, I don't I don't know about you, but that's going to be one heck of a child when she reaches two. Onwards. <laughs> so... It was really great fun to, to hear everybody um, and talk to them because, as you know, I was really disappointed I was going to go down and visit them and then ended up I couldn't because I couldn't get a dog sitter for that weekend. Um, so I had to cancel it. But anyway, all's good. So it's been a good 24 hours since I last spoke to you. I uh, had a really busy day at work yesterday. And it was really funny because just as I was going to be leaving, um, a colleague of mine was busy trying to do something that I knew would take time one of those tasks that you knew was going to take a bit of time. 
I just looked at her and I said, why don't you let me help you? Um, and I just sat down and you know, it was one of those tasks where you know I could help easily. Um, anyway, so it was really cute because I just stayed the extra little bit and helped. And she kept saying, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do this. And I'm going, yes, I do. And the reason, yes, I do, is because really it was 15 minutes of my time that probably saved yeah, at least 10 to 15 of hers. So when it's already go home time, that makes a difference. So anyway, the reason, as you know, that I'm going in early is so that I can make up a little bit of time because of having to go to the doctors. Um, hate that. Guy does something stupid on the right. <laughs> and then just as you're about to go through the traffic light, it changes. That's not right. They should have seen. <laughs> so... It's a long weekend here in Canada this weekend, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it means that I can uh, get on with my project. And I'm thinking that I should find another Home Depot that I can go and raid for some more of my tiles. And I need more silicone, that's for sure went through that first tube rather quickly. So those are two things I need to get. So I'm going to quickly check where my next nearest Home Depot is and go and hunt down if they've got any of these tiles for me. My uh, local Home Depot said they'll be getting more in on the 12th of August, but that's a long way away. to find some more before then I think but I think I've got enough to do probably half of this first wall which will be exciting so really not a lot to talk about today I'm feeling very mellow that would be the word um, I really thank you all for the kind comments you keep sending. Somebody was wrote to me yesterday and said my cherry disposition helped her. Of course, I found that astounding. I don't see myself as a cheery person. Isn't that funny? <laughs> um, and I'm not sure she used the word cheery, but I think that's what she meant. But you understand what I'm saying, though. And it's really strange, because I just don't see myself as that upbeat or whatever. In fact, <laughs> there are times when I, I think I must be quite the opposite of that. So it's really strange when somebody perceives you that way. And of course, who's right? Everybody, because it's their perception. How can that be wrong? It is their perception. I was talking yesterday about um, the law of attraction and what I wanted to do was to challenge you all to attract more good stuff 
I think when, when people ask for things in their lives, they, they're inclined to ask for money and, and possessions. And I've met some that will ask for strength. One of the things I always ask for, <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> I ask for things to amuse me. I like to giggle. When I say I like to giggle, I, I like to be amused. I, I like things that make me, make me chuckle a little. Because it doesn't take much to make me chuckle a little. And one of the things that I find is that I look for things to make me chuckle a little. And when I say that is that it's amazing. You know, it's the same as you'll hear me as I'm... Oh, that's pretty. Sorry, I'm just looking at some flowers that I pass every day, and for some reason today they're prettier than they normally are. <laughs> Go figure. I see those flowers every single day, and I can try to work. And it's just like today they jumped out at me. Um, really pretty. <laughs> Confusingly so, obviously. Yes, so. I look for things in, in, I've always been a curious person. I rather like being curious. I've learned a lot from being curious. Yeah, I ask questions a lot. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have um, memories of actually stopping somebody with a mohawk and asking them how they stuck it together. How, how do they keep their hair stuck up like that? I was amazed to find out egg whites were the answer. Wow. Um, but you know what I mean? I will, <laughs> I will ask those questions that people don't ask. Because sometimes you learn and sometimes you're amused. But you, you always end up gaining something from it. Even if it's a tad embarrassing sometimes, which it has been for me. But I do like to to check things out and ask people how they do things or how not to do things. If Benji asked me something yesterday, and it was just a passing question, and it was really funny because I didn't, I just sort of brushed it off when he asked it because it wasn't. I thought I was okay with what he asked me. And then, I don't know, I woke up this morning and I thought, you know, I think I'm going to get him to check to see whether I am okay. It had to do with something, one of my settings on my computer. And um, Benji has the ability to get into my computer. And I just, <laughs> I don't know, this morning I just sent him off a quick note and said, hey, do you want to check that out to make sure? because there's one thing that I think it's okay, that particular setting. But, yeah, why don't you just check it for me and make sure, because my attitude is he knows what he's looking for. So, that would be helpful. And it would save me worrying, because you know, when somebody's put that idea in your head, you think, I wonder if that is right. I'd rather know. So. I didn't go back and reload that particular video from a couple of days ago, that, the one that froze. I, I worked out that by the time I went and hunted down the original, because I knew that the converted file was also frozen, because I checked that. But by the time I went back and got the original and re 
processed it and everything. I, I wasn't sure that it really was worth it. I, I'd rather you know, put a warning up on the video to say that it was going to freeze um, so that people would know. I'll re-look at that sort of at the weekend if I've got time to see if I can, uh, if I've still got the original in my camera. Maybe not. <laughs> Actually, it's surprising. I thought it would be a lot busier today. Uh, at this time. But I guess we're still in summertime and people are still on vacation. And the schools are obviously on vacation as well. So that's part of the reason why I go in slightly later is to miss all the school traffic. But when it's summer vacation, nobody goes to school. Anyway, so it's really pleasant driving in at this time today, which is half an hour earlier than I would normally be driving it. Okay, so I'm going to go and do the last little drive into work and hope that everybody's had having a great day. Um, Hopefully I'll get up on um, broadcast tonight. I think it's about time. So have a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this. And make yourself chuckle. That would be my suggestion of the day. Do things to amuse yourself. Don't worry about amusing other people for one day. For one day, do little things that will amuse you. Things that give you pleasure, make you giggle. You'll feel a lot happier and you'll feel a lot healthier. Be amused. This is dear Mama Zal saying thank you for watching. Bye for now.